So I am getting ready to go into the studio again um, and I've been looking around for some help for quite some time and um, I've worked with a few different people in the past, um, both local and when I was on a label um, with the studio in Atlanta area and that was, that was awesome, it was great fun, good experiences, um, but maybe not the best long term experiences. And there were some things that I just didn't really uh, gel with. Um, and I think that's what's different for me. A lot of people nowadays are learning how to do things on their own, in their own house or basement or whatever, their own studios that they're making and everything's DIY. And uh, that's great. That's obviously making the costs really low and um, they can learn a lot of skills. That's great, that's wonderful. I've learned a lot of skills too. I've done some of that myself as well. I found though, however, for my own music, I'm planning on going back to the studio to create that um, I need somebody to help refine me. I need some one who sees the vision and hears the vision and can kind of help aid me in the process and help capture some of the best of me, not necessarily to sell a product or anything like that, but just, you know, um, yeah someone who kind of believes in my music. And so I, I feel like I found that person, but yeah, just keep it, keep me in your prayers as I'm, as I'm looking around and um, continue to work on things. But yeah, I feel like I've settled on that person uh, with Trey Mullins, my friend here in Chattanooga. He has a studio called Wavelength Studio. So we're in Wavelength Studio, Wavelength Space. And it's more than a studio. It's a multi-purpose art gallery. It's a podcast space, all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Sharing your talents. Thanks. Which, which are awesome. Thank you so much for the room mic here. And we it's uh it's got some really great equipment. <laughs> um really great mics and things too, and um obviously you don't need a whole lot nowadays with plug-ins and all that kind of thing, but he's got a great ear, just a really good engineer, and I feel like he really helps uh capture me. Um a lot of that's organic in the room. It just has a good feel. And then a lot of that is, um, you know, uh, with, with coaching and with uh, the, right, the right miking and things like that. And uh, yeah, he just has great ideas, great input. And I just really appreciated all he's done so far. And so yeah, we've started the process going back in the studio with my brother as well. He's been uh, doing drums and bass for me. And you'll probably add some vocals and keys and stuff later on, but. All right, looking good. What are we setting up here? Uh, <laughs> drums? <laughs> like, wait, drums? Isn't that what we're setting up? They are the drums. The drums. Minos, that's good. Minos. <laughs> I found that that's always the most, the, the best process. Um, and obviously I love working with a lot of different musicians through the years and it's a lot of fun. A lot of people have great ideas. I do feel like because me and my brother have been playing for so long that we can really, uh, you know, finish each other's musical thoughts as it is. And it's a lot of fun. So I really appreciate him after all these years, still <laughs> being willing to jump in there and help me. 
Um, but yeah, be in prayer as I um, work towards like an album worth of songs. Probably won't release them all at once, which is what most people advise not to do in today's day and age. Um, but it's really fun. It's going really well. And I just have a lot of songs that um, that are just that have been on the back burner. Some of them have are almost done. Some of them have been recorded and just haven't been mixed. Um, but a lot of them have just had various live versions of them presented through the years. So yeah, I'm getting back in the groove of that. So be in prayer for us and appreciate your thoughts and, and any suggestions too. Um, that's what's kind of hard as well. I was gonna kind of bring that up. I don't wanna be a rant podcast YouTuber here, but um, it's tough when you spend a lot of money making music and obviously I'm doing it for the love of it. But since making money from music is non-existent now pretty much. And now Spotify has cut their rates for uh, stream royalties even more. So it's difficult to uh, recoup any of that like it was back in the CD days or obviously some of you the record days. But um, I just right now I'm giving it over to the Lord and treating it like an offering and um, asking him to do some things, maybe touch some people's lives with it. And so with that being said, I mean, what do you guys listen to most? Do you listen to YouTube most? Um, you know, Spotify, obviously all of our music is there in one place and that's the most easy thing to listen to. But are there other platforms out there that you listen to or that you use? I'd be interested to know. Um, and uh, be interested to know maybe what when you listen to music or how you do listen to music. I mean, I love live music and that's kind of what my my world um, in music creation revolves around. But, um, you know, send me some suggestions, some comments, some thoughts. Do you like watching YouTube videos on the regular? Do you like live streamed videos? Do you like um, going to coffee shops and hearing an acoustic artist? Do you like to go outdoors and hear a band? I mean, I kind of do it all, but you know, where do you listen to music and how, how often? Um, I love listening to music, especially in the car and, and all that. So um, I, with Spotify, it just makes it, makes it difficult to release the music. Um, but if you all have any ideas and suggestions on other ways that I could r release music out there, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that out there. But beside the point, um, yeah, it's um, gonna be kind of a long haul. We're gonna spend most of the summer working on music. So again, uh, thanks for your support and your prayers. I mean, any little bit helps if you uh, find something, a song that resonates with you and maybe put it with another artist on your playlist. That, um, that helps a ton. <laughs> um, or maybe share some YouTube videos if you find any of the content inspirational. Um, and um, I want to, I want to do that. I want to try to not just make videos about music and stuff, but um, kind of give my thoughts and kind of share the journey. Um, and it's been a long journey for me. I've been in a lot of places. I've done a lot of things. Um, so yeah, just stay tuned for more as uh, we continue to share in that and the updates and the videos to come and things to come. But in the meantime, um, check out stuff online if you do get a chance and uh, stream Josh Gilbert and Josh Gilbert Band. Um, one of them's kind of my blues rock project that I do a lot of touring and bigger events with. And then I also have a worship project um, that has slowly been releasing songs just under my name, Josh Gilbert. But anyways, thank you guys for all of your support through the years, um, especially if I met you on the road or somewhere at a church or connected with you. Um, that's that's my favorite thing. I'd love to connect with you out there. Um, if you're a friend from the past days, or maybe somebody new who um, you know maybe wants to hear something different and fresh, and wants to invite a sort of a hippie <laughs> um, acoustic guitar-driven worship leader somewhere. But anyways, I'd love to connect with you, whatever that looks like. So um, hope to see you out there sometime, and have a blessed day and week. Take care. Thanks for listening.